Hey guys, welcome back to this week's new video. In today's video, we're gonna see how to program MIDI drums. And before starting, if you guys are new here, I'm Ronak. I make content related to music production, audio engineering, and music composition, and all related stuff. So if this interests you, you can press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you may get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's dive into this. So last week I produced this track for our online church intro video. So here's the track and I've programmed some drums on it. I've recorded some guitars and some logic instruments are here. So let's hear it and then we'll get into the drum programming. So that was the track and you may have noticed the drums. Uh, you may wonder which drums I've used in this track. So this is the drum plugin which I am using and this is one of my favorite drum plugins. This is called Perfect Drums by Naughty Seal Audio. It has got some amazing drum samples as you can see a lot of samples over here. This is the snare samples. And likewise, you get all the samples related to all the other parts of the drums, the kick drum, the side drum, the cymbals, the percussion stuff. This, uh, this drum library is really awesome. I really love it. And I use it even in my own productions as well. So you can even add your own samples in this if you have some samples and use it in your drum programming. It has got a mixer and a lot of amazing stuff which you can do inside this plugin as well. So this is the plugin which I've used for my drum sounds. Let's look at the MIDI of this drums. So this is the MIDI section of my drum. As you can see a lot of notes and everything is programmed from scratch and it's divided into different parts. So this is the intro, this is the middle section, the worst part, and then, then again the outro. So I have programmed it in different clips. And you can see a lot of velocities are there. If you don't know what velocity is, velocity is the dynamics, how hard and how soft a drum note has been hit. So if the drummer has hit the drum note real hard, the velocity will be really high. And if the drum note is being hit really soft, the velocity will be uh, really low. So two of the main things which you have to keep in mind while you are programming drums are keeping it realistic. And the second thing is the velocity. So what do I mean by realistic? So we have two hands and two feet. And if we play a drum, we are limited to the, these things, the two hands and two feet. So whenever you are programming drums, you need to keep in mind that whatever notes you are hitting, you have two hands only. So one of the trick which I do is I do whatever idea of drum idea which I have in my mind. I just do air drumming and then I visualize the thing. How am I going to play it in a real drum? So for instance, if you want to play a tom and a snare and a cymbal, you have to keep in mind that you have only two hands. You can't play three things at once. And if you do that, uh, it'll sound 
unrealistic so you have to program drums in a realistic way so that's the first point realistic drumming and then second thing is velocity whenever you are uh, programming drums a drummer may not hit the snare at the same velocity throughout the drumming he hits the drums at different velocity levels different loudness level different different hardness and different softness levels so you have to keep all those things in mind and if the velocity is same throughout it will sound like a robot is playing a drum and we don't want to make it sound like a robot so we have to play with the velocity to make it sound realistic so as you can see here a lot of velocity notes are there for each and every drum parts which helps it in sounding more realistic so let's hear the drum soloed so you can get a better picture of it so you get the point right so you have to keep these things in mind the velocity and the realistic feeling you have to program drums in a way that a real drummer can play you don't want your listeners to think that it's not playable at all so let me show you how i program drums from scratch so i have this another track with me and an empty midi clip so now i'm going to program a drum sequence from scratch for you guys i'll mute this part and i'll start from scratch so you can see how i approach drum programming so i'll open this midi clip in a piano roll and the first thing which i start with while programming drums is the basic bare bone of a drum sequence so let me draw this first basic sequence of this drum which i have in mind so here i have my basic drum structure which is going to work as a backbone of this drum beat let's hear what we have got so once we have the basic structure we are going to add the other elements of the drum sound so now i'm going to add the cymbals and the toms so we have the toms the three toms over here and the cymbal over here so whenever i start a beat i add the cymbal to the first note of the beat so it's going to start with this and then i'm going to add some tom fills to it so here we have the full structure of this section ready let's hear what we have got So that's good sounding but that's not complete yet. Remember I told you in the start of this video that you have to keep the velocity and the realness in mind. As you can see here let me pull out the velocity. Note velocity. You can see here the velocity is all in a same line and there's nothing going on with the velocity right over here. 
so if anyone hears this anyone you have noticed it that it's sounding very robotic it's that there, there's no velocity there's no randomness and variation in the hardness and softness of the sounds so we are going to play with the velocities over here now if you want to play with the velocity all manually you can do that but it takes a lot of time you can select each note and then go here in the velocity and then change the velocity sensitivity and you can do for the rest of the notes it's very tiresome when you are working with a lot of different velocity notes over here you can't just go and change the velocity of each note it's very time consuming so this feature which i am going to show you it's available in all doors this is specific for logic but it's available for all doors you can find it in every door from cubase ableton and each door has this feature but you have to search for it on your own if you are a logic user i am going to show you how to randomize the velocity by yourself but if you are using it on other door you have to search it for yourself you can find it on the internet you can find it on the forums a lot of resources are available where you can find these things so when you are in a piano roll you can find functions over here and then you can go to midi transform then from here you can go to you can see lot of different options right over here so you can select the random velocity since we want to randomize our velocity then it will show you this window and in this window you have this area where you can select the intensity of the randomness so this is showing the lowest point of the random velocity and this is the highest point of the random velocity so in my case i am going to use around 80 for my lowest velocity and around 118 for my highest velocity and i'm going to select and operate and as soon as i click this select and operate you can see the whole notes velocity is randomized and sometimes it changes the velocity of the notes which you don't want to be softer or harder so for that you can go and increase the velocity of the desired note uh for instance the bass notes over here you can see that it has decreased to a very low velocity which i don't want so for that i can go and increase each note's velocity which is less time consuming than doing it for each and every note so you can do that according to your preferences and it's done the whole velocity of the midi notes are randomized and you have saved lot of time so now those two points are covered velocity and the realness and we have a basic midi drum sequence ready and it's good to be played so let's hear what we've got So that was it guys that's how I program my drums I hope it was informative to you and I'm going to make lot of informative contents in the future for you guys and I hope you are using it in a useful way in your production and in your work which you are doing if you really like the video you can press the like button and I hope to see you guys in the next video Thanks for sticking around till the end.